this new video. This is Queen Choma from queenchomamedia.com. I am a international motivational speaker, a TV presenter, PR and media coach, also a singer as well. By the way, I would love for you to check out my music on iTunes. Um, I created music years ago and I'm about to really bring out some new songs eventually. So definitely look out for the new stuff that's coming. Okay, so today I'm talking to you if you want to attract publicity using Instagram. You know, I always talk to my clients about how they can actually stand on Instagram from a media perspective, from a PR perspective. Because what I find is a lot of entrepreneurs actually portray themselves as if they are like sort of like models and they have a lot of solo images, they have a lot of um, selfies and everything is about them. So it's like these, you know, posing all the time and everything. They are showing a lot of that and loads of inspirational quotes. But what we really want to do is kind of tweak how you shop on Instagram. Let me give you three things that you can post to actually really begin to attract publicity directly through Instagram. Number one, the first thing that you can do on Instagram is to start to upload more group photos. Photos of other people, not just yourself. You with, for example, your favorite celebrity. You with a influencer. You with these you know, amazing women that you met at this conference. You with a group of friends. You with young people at a conference. You want to show that you are a people person, that you are someone that's into the community, you're into society. You really want to be showing that you care about the community, you care about the world, you care about people. When you post selfies upon selfies and all these solo images of you, just you posing, you on the beach, you, it kind of comes across as you are really showing that you're just all about you and you don't care about others. So definitely begin to show off you at events, you with people and things like that. Obviously you still want to add in those photos of you on your own, but just like mix it up. The second thing that you want to do is from time to time is to upload some of your media coverage that you have. So for example, a screenshot of you and you know, when you're in the Huffington Post, a screenshot of your article on the BBC website, a screenshot of your feature in your local gazette. And I really want you to do this from time to time because people get this idea that you're someone that does do media interviews or somebody that is featured in the media and then they'll start to want to book you for media opportunities they're going to be like oh this person always does interviews from time to time they're always featured they'll be like oh i was thinking to reach out to her about a media opportunity i can see that she does do media interviews so let me go ahead do you know that there are some entrepreneurs or some celebrities that decline interviews so if you're not showing off that you do interviews people may not know if they should reach out to you or not Number three, the third thing to do on Instagram is to begin to use the hashtags to find journalists, to find podcast hosts, to find presenters and everything and start reaching out to them and building a relationship with them through social media. Basically warm up to the media through social media. If you would love to be in Glamour Magazine, follow Glamour Magazine, start showing them some love, add value to their community so that they will pay attention to you and then when you do send your pitch, they're more likely to be like, oh there's that lovely lady that's always like sort of like leaving us comments and you might think oh they'll never notice me they've got like millions of fans how will they notice me but the thing is people do notice when people are following them they do notice when someone's showing that constant love it just comes through like and even just the energy behind it just the very fact that you're showing love what you sow is what you reap if you give that energy you're going to get it back if you'd love someone to take over your pr and do it for you and help you to get amazing interviews and just help you with your media page your press kit your press release all these good things if you want someone that will train you up on how to be ready for everything to do publicity from think about things that you haven't even prepared for maybe one day you're going to meet the queen or maybe one day you're going to meet prince harry and Meghan markle are you prepared for those moments or are you working towards those kind of moments if you want magazine features you know tv interviews if you want to meet these amazing celebrities or influencers if you want just more doors to open and just to be like seen as a professional when the PR does start unfolding. There have been entrepreneurs that have gone viral and they haven't been prepared for it. They've not been prepared to go viral. And um, one of the episodes I'd love for you to check out is by Jenna Kutcher. And she actually talks about this, the very fact that she went viral and how, in a way, she talks about the good, the bad and the ugly. If you check out her podcast, Gold Digger Podcast, you'll be able to hear more about her story. And this will actually wake you up to realize that it's really important to get ready right now. Her podcast is amazing, by the way. You're going to love it. So definitely do a bit of research on PR. And if you need a bit of support, do reach out to me. I would love for you to book a session with me. Let's talk about your business. Let's talk about PR. Because I believe that God has amazing things he wants you to achieve. 
And believe me, we live in a very big world. You could speak in different parts of Africa. You could speak in Russia. You could speak in Turkey. You could speak in Mexico. There are countries waiting for you to go and speak at. And there are shows waiting for you to basically contact so that you can actually, you know, be on their shows. 